Scientists have succeeded in converting carbon in the air to sodium bicarbonate. Scientists have managed to capture carbon in the atmosphere, which is one of the main causes of global warming, and convert it to sodium bicarbonate. With this method, which is three times more effective than current carbon capture methods, carbon can be absorbed from the air and converted into sodium bicarbonate, known as baking soda, and stored in the oceans. Scientists have done an important work in the fight against the climate crisis. Researchers managed to capture carbon in the atmosphere, which is one of the main causes of global warming, and convert it to sodium bicarbonate. With this method, which is three times more effective than current carbon capture methods, carbon can be absorbed from the air and converted into sodium bicarbonate, known as baking soda, and stored in the oceans. Researchers emphasize that the way to deal with the climate crisis is to reduce the use of fossil fuels. However, he stated that carbon in the air should also be eliminated, considering the fact that a large amount of carbon has already been emitted and there will not be enough restrictions in the near future. According to the research, although forests and oceans clean the air, they cannot completely remove the carbon emitted by humans, so technological methods must be used. In one of these technological methods, carbon is collected directly from places where it is emitted, such as steel and cement factories. In the other method, where carbon is captured directly from the air, carbon pollution is absorbed directly from the atmosphere and destroyed by injecting it into the soil. However, since the concentration of carbon dioxide, CO2, in the air is 4 per thousand, this method is both difficult and costly. Climeworks, which is among the largest companies working on carbon dioxide capture technologies, has an annual CO2 removal capacity of 4,000 tons. On the other hand, this amount corresponds to the carbon pollution produced by 800 cars in a year. CO2 is converted to sodium bicarbonate using seawater. Professor at Lehigh University, one of the researchers. Arup Sengupta noted that even large plants can clean up very little carbon, costing several hundred dollars per ton. Scientists succeeded in converting carbon in the air to sodium bicarbonate 10. Capacity to clean copper CO2 2 to 3 times more. Sengupta stated that copper is used in the absorbent material used to extract carbon from the air, thus achieving two or three times more CO2 removal capacity than existing ones. Noting that copper can be produced easily and cheaply, Sengupta said that after CO2 is captured from the air, it can be converted into sodium bicarbonate using sea water and thrown into the sea. Even if you add the daily or even annual CO2 emissions from the atmosphere to the ocean, the increase in the ocean's concentration would be very, very small, Sengupta said. Use the phrase. Noting that the newly developed technology is now ready to be taken out of the laboratory and tested, Sengupta stated that with the establishment of such facilities away from the shore, the necessary amount of seawater can be provided for the process, and that this technology should be tested and developed in several places around the world. Disposal of sodium bicarbonate into the ocean. On the other hand, Stuart Hazeldine, lecturer at Edinburgh University, stated that the new method is imaginative and sensitive. Hazeldine stated that the dumping of large quantities of sodium bicarbonate into the ocean is prohibited by international agreements. Professor of Chemical Engineering at the University of Sheffield. Peter Steering argued that it is not known what effect even small amounts of sodium bicarbonate will have to be released into the oceans, based on the lack of a comprehensive research. Steering stated that the new method is expensive and ineffective, and that it would be more effective to capture carbon from places such as power plants and industrial facilities where there is higher proportions. On the other hand, some scientists are concerned that a focus on technologies to eliminate carbon pollution could be perceived as deviating from fossil fuel reduction policies and allowing them to continue polluting the environment. But given the current climate crisis, governments and international organizations are eager to develop this technology. The results of the research were published in the journal Science Advances.